Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to FitStem. My name is Barack and today I'm gonna to take you through one of our basic 15 minute bicep blasters. So make sure you don't go anywhere, stick around for the entire show so that you do not miss anything that's gonna get you these big blasters. Yeah! First, we gotta stretch out. Make sure you get all these cracks out of your arms. Get ready to do this workout, all right? I haven't been doing any type of physical activity, so I'm gonna get all these cracks out and stay a little bit loose before I start this exercise, okay? Alright, then you spend the last few seconds just shaking it out. Everything else is getting loose. And then we're ready to start with our first bicep exercise. So we're going to start off kind of low. We're going to do warm up sets. Okay, we're going to do ultimate dumbbell curls. And we're going to do it for 40 seconds. Alright, let's get ready to go. And exercise. Nice and slow. You're barely starting the exercise. So you don't want to rush it, okay? There you go, just like that. Try not to make any excessive movements, such as anything like that or anything like that. No, we want to stay still, okay? And get it really slowly up there on the curl. Keep it going, guys. Three, two, one, break. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the weights and we're gonna rest, okay? That's gonna give us enough time to kind of get our breath going again, okay? Getting your uh, muscles primed and ready for this actual workout when we're doing a working uh, set. So, good warm up set, you guys. Starting to feel a little bit. As you can see, the veins are starting to come out. Set. We're still going to continue with the light weight. Okay, no excess movement and control these reps. Control them. Don't let them control you. You have to control these reps. Remember, the weights don't have driver's license. You do. You make the decision. Don't let the weights make them. Okay? There you go. Good. Just like that. Squeeze at the top. Very good. Okay? And it's time. For my next exercise, I'm going ahead and set up my bench for it. And what we're going to be doing is single arm creature curl. Single arm creature curl, we want to get that incline. Just like that. Uh, we're going to go just a tad bit heavier with the 25 seconds. So you don't need much weight. All you need here is the repetition and the squeeze and the uh, perfection of the four. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and set it up right here. I usually start with my strong hand first. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and set it up like this. Okay? You want all your tricep to be on this bench up here. All right? In position like that, you want to get stable onto the ground so you don't lean over. Okay? When we're ready to start. And begin. So. Squeeze 
stop. All right, now we're gonna go to our left hand. Same thing, you guys. All right, down like that. And squeeze at the top, you guys. Do not rush these. Breathe as you go in two. Get that oxygen back into your muscles and into your brain. There we go. Feel that. Keep squeezing it out. You guys got this. Let's go. All right, that's one set. Okay, that's a warm up set. One more guys. So, right now I can feel it. I'm breathing a little bit harder as you can tell because these take a little bit more energy because you're concentrating on them. Feeling that squeeze coming up and it's really a contrast to what you typically see at the you know, commercial gyms where you're seeing a lot of guys mess up on the floor, go back and forth, and that's why they create these unnecessary injuries that prevents them from working out. Or, much worse, have a bad experience with working out and not want to ever come back to it. So we're gonna fix that in proper form. Grab my weight again, use the same weight. Deep breath, get my mind ready. All right, set it up again. As you can see, it's getting a little bit more kind of round, smoothed up. Same thing, guys. You should feel it right about now. Good. Get your mind there, guys. Get your mind there. Get your mind right. Go to that place. Hey, breathe. Good. My muscle. Feel that squeeze. There you go. No more there. Good. Looking good, guys. There we go. Get it strong. There you go. One more. All right. Now, that was great. I felt that. Right. Twitch. Okay. Good. Squeeze at the top. Good. There we go. Come on, keep it up. Let's go. Don't quit. Good job, you guys. Now, there you go. Start to feel the blood circulating inside my forearm area and also my actual bicep. All right, these work excellent on feeling that ball right here and that separation between the forearm and that ball right here. Okay? So, I'll go ahead and rest for about a minute. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Now's a good time to also get some water. So I'm gonna do that. So these are gonna be our working sets now. And the working sets, I have a different variation for it. So please pay attention. Make sure you stick around for the entire show because you might miss some crucial information to help you gain these extra bicep balls. All right, so we get ready. All right, here we go, same thing. Same position, same side position. But what you can do is when you go down, you're gonna come up and you're gonna turn dumbbells in. Okay, squeeze it in. Ready? Up, in. Good, just like that. Up, in. See that extra squeeze? Up, in. Okay, just like that. Good. Squeeze. You're gonna get that extra little turn right there. It creates that little ball. Most of you guys are probably wondering, where's my ball at? Well, include these into your exercises you might start seeing it, okay? That's time, okay? Start the next arm. Same thing. Twist. Twist. You're gonna have a tendency to try to turn it like this, but that won't work, okay? Try to turn it away from you, right? Away from you, good. 
away from you. Breathe. You see, when I'm talking, I'm also using that time to breathe. See? All right, that's your third set, you guys. You should be feeling it right about now. Should be feeling the vascularity come in now. Should be feeling the blood just weighing heavily on your arms uh, right about now. It's only been the third set of this workout prior to the warm up, and I'm already starting to feel the workout. So, this is a great bicep workout. Stick around, guys, hang around, and you're gonna definitely get some value out of this. So, we're gonna go ahead and rest again. Make sure you're conducting your breathings. Sometimes it's also good to kind of stretch out again. Stay loose, guys. We got one more working set, okay? On this specific uh, exercise. All right, last set, please. Okay. So we're gonna set it up again, guys. All right. Just like that, okay? I usually like to put my hand on my hip right here so I'm not moving around. So I'm stationary, all right, ready? Let's go. Turn, good. Don't forget that turn, you guys. Turn, there you go. Turn. Turn. The last set, you're gonna have to push it real hard, guys, because I'm already starting to feel slightly at muscle failure. Come on. But I'm not gonna quit for you, okay? So you don't quit for me. Keep going, let's go. Ah. Ah, you got this, come on. Yeah, very good, guys. All right, second, second arm. Last set, okay? Lift yourself right there. Keep yourself steady and roll. Concentrate on them. Muscle, mind connection. Okay, breathe, guys. There you go. Keep going. Don't quit. All right, you gotta stop when you're done, not when you're tired. Let's go. And yeah, that's it. All right, good job, guys. Grab the weight. We are done with these exercises. Uh, and we're gonna go on to our next bicep exercise. We'll rest for one minute. And then we'll go ahead and set this preparedness for my next exercise, which is gonna be called single arm dumbbell concentration curve. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and explain this first. For these I like to go with a little bit less weight because I'm really concentrating on them. I'm not going fast at all. Really taking my time to feel this muscle really contract, okay? So I'm gonna go five pounds lighter. I'm gonna have a seat, you know, for me, easier to sit on my bench. You can sit on a, you know, whatever you want, as long as you can have access to your two, two legs and kind of sit on the edge, okay? So you wanna grab this, dumbbell like that, have your tricep lean towards this thigh right here in your thigh area, okay? And curl, just like that. Squeeze at the top, guys. I see a lot of guys going like this. Like that. Okay, that does nothing for you, all right? So keep going like that, squeeze. Just like that. Good, breathe, squeeze. There you go. There you go, feel that right there. And we're gonna go into the other arm too, okay? Same thing, place this. Try to right inside the inner thigh area, okay, and exercise.
second exercise of the bicep workout. So halfway there, and I'm feeling, feeling my arms just feel like a ton on this side. So definitely working, definitely feeling that extra squeeze and extra blood going into the this muscle. Okay, so we're gonna have one minute again and we're gonna do it again. Feel it now, that muscle failure. Keep going though. Sometimes, what a good rule of thumb is you can't come up, use this arm to help yourself out a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Good job. We got one more set of these. And I got a very special surprise for you. Stick around. Stay around to the end because these ones you don't want to miss. So, one minute rest. Go ahead and get some water or whatever kind of beverage of your choice. Because we're going to really step up the notch here. So, it's a good opportunity to kind of gather your thoughts again. You're on this road to a good physique or a better physique. Tell you guys hang in there. It's too easy to give up. All right, so push yourselves and let's get this thing going. Ready? Last set, guys. Push it. Go, come on. Don't give up. I know it hurts, it's supposed to hurt. Go, keep it going. Ah. Ah, squeeze. Ah. All right, switch arms. Set on the top. The first couple are bad, but once you get towards like seven or eight, it's like wearing on you. And this is where it counts, guys. This is where you need to grow, all right? This is where you need to tear those muscle fibers and make room for it to repair and grow new muscle, okay? And so let's keep it going. I'm gonna help myself out. Ah, come on, let's go. All right, so. Like I promised you guys, thank you guys for sticking around for the entire show. We're gonna give you a super set that's gonna really blast your biceps into outer space. So get ready, get your water, get your last minute drink, and we'll get ready to go here. For this one, I choose to do 10 because it's gonna be quite challenging, okay? So we're gonna start off with curls, come down, hammers, and then forearm. Like that, and then forearm again, hammers, and curls. Do it real slow for you. Do 
That's it, you guys. That was a bicep blaster. I hope you guys stuck around for the whole thing. If not, rewind, go back. You're gonna miss a whole bunch of crucial information. Don't forget, if this was valuable to you, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell on top, and share, share, share. All right, until next time, you guys, stay fit, stay healthy, and thank you for visiting FitFit. Peace.